Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 4th, 2021. Well, yesterday we saw those bulls get all kinds of energized in the morning, and then they just fell short of being able to break these resistance levels. And we even saw the tech sector struggling to hold on to prices throughout the day. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle into our office chairs, buckle up and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone. Yesterday was one of those days that make you go, hmm. We had that bullish energy that started off and it was really heavily focused into the Dow. And then we just saw it just kind of fizzle. Um, we, we couldn't really hold on to it. And then we saw the tech sector pulling back, creating some uncertainty and just left us with more chop and um, stuck in this current consolidation in the chart. If we were to take a look at this trend at, whoops, if we were to take a look at this trend and notice that there's really nothing wrong here with the index itself. We're, we're holding up in a very, very bullish pattern and we were on the short term very stretched out. Well, now that stretch is starting to calm quite a bit because we've been locked in this sideways consolidation for a period of time and it looks like that could still continue today. The futures are showing a little bit of softness, a little bit of weakness today after yesterday's surge. So let's keep a close eye on that. As long as this range continues, we can slide all the way out here toward this trend. Now, please understand that I, I understand no one wants to see that or hear that. We want to get the market moving, and I get it. Um, one thing that I've been hearing from uh, almost everyone is their, their accounts are getting chopped to pieces. They're trying to trade this choppy range as if we were in this trend that you know seemed to have been a relentless trend so far this year and now we're just in this choppy range and folks are, are seeing their accounts being um, kind of bruised and beaten um, here lately trying to trade with the same intensity remember guys when we enter a dull market like this we've got to slow down our trading we've got to be a little bit careful because these whipsaws that we're experiencing and this wide range the Dow range here of nearly 500 points can really be punishing as we whip back and forth in that range and right now it seems that we just lack the energy to want to break out of that on either side we can't get the selling going because we hear nothing but um, praises and singing of uh, uh, in unison from the institutions that, oh, there's more, more highs to come, more highs to come. And yet we're not seeing that follow through in the price action here. So kind of a challenging market and, and albeit a, a very, very frustrating market for a lot of folks. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY had a well, popped yesterday um, in the pre-market, and I suggested to be a little bit careful to watch for that possibility. Could there be another pop and drop coming into play? And that is essentially what we received yesterday. And we didn't break through to that resistance high. Um, so as we continued to kind of fade and sell off, into yesterday there is that little bit of concern now will we be able to hold on to this support and you can see this morning we've got just a little bit of pricing pressure showing up here suggesting that we might drift down below that support and that possibility that we could come down in here and test this level now please keep in mind the point range in here is pretty substantial so this could be a pretty painful pullback if that were to occur watch that closely if um, we find that inspiration to move down. Now it seems it, it seems remarkable to me that earnings are are we're just 
we're just pounding these earnings like crazy. So many companies beating earnings by as much as 20%, which is really unheard of. And then we can't seem to catch a follow through. So be really, really careful, um, even trying to short this right now because we could whipsaw the other direction in about half a heartbeat. So um, keep in mind that as long as we continue in this consolidation, our trend remains bullish, but it can be very, very challenging and, and abuse your account pretty heavily if we just continue to chop back and forth. And this would suggest that we could go another two plus weeks in a sideways move as we rest um, this big extension in the market. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ really starting to add a little concern here to the market. Let's notice that this level right here, we were struggling to hold onto that yesterday by the close. Now this morning we're seeing that potentially fail. This is the pre-market candle trying to push us down. We could even lose this level. And I've mentioned several times that if that were to occur, if we were to fail through that area, just kind of keep in mind that there's not a whole lot of price support in this chart until we get all the way down here. Whoops. Now, if we were to fall all the way down in here, that could be a really painful situation for um, the market. Hopefully that doesn't occur, but this little pressure showing up um, is certainly unsettling. And the fact that this is a double top pattern that could be confirmed today with that low being taken out. So a double top, big potential point move to the next support level in the chart, a failure of this last high, um, and we're, we're seeing bonds trying to move up a little bit this morning. That's a little bit of a concern here overall. Now, take a look at this trend. Now, this trend could be our saving grace here this morning. If we push down into that and can find some support off of this trend and bounce back, we may be okay. But just keep that in mind. We'll want to watch that. This price support in here failing this morning could be really problematic. And if we happen to slip past that trend, um, it could be ugly. So watch that. Then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM again tried to pop yesterday. We had that nice little surge in the morning, but we ended up with a pop and drop. Ended up rallying back up just a little bit by the end of the day. But let's take note that we have now this morning showing a failure coming in of this price support. So we have this little downtrend going on, and though we have this little uptrend going on, failing this price support would suggest that possibility that we could move right on down into here pretty easily. So watch that closely. If we can hold in here, we just like uh, the NASDAQ could bounce up off of there. The real the real pain could occur is if that doesn't hold us as support and we fail on through. So watch that closely. It's it's a tough call in this market. Be really, really careful. And then if we take a look at the VIX, you know, it's an interesting situation when you see the market surging to the upside, we see bullishness coming in. And at the same time, we saw the VIX trying to rally interesting situation for the market and this morning we're seeing um you know the market's trying to pull back so could we see the vix continue to rally and i think that possibility does exist now i don't think we have any major problem here in the vix unless we really start to break downtrends and break back through this resistance level if we rally up into here, though, there's going to be a little bit of concern um, that that could occur. So watch that closely if we push back up into that area. And then another perplexing situation is if we look at our T2101. We had the VIX trying to creep up yesterday and we had our absolute breadth index declining once again. Now, when we're surging to the upside, you would not expect to see that occur, but that's what's happening. And we continue in this downtrend um, in this T2101, and it is a bit concerning here overall. So watch that closely. 
Oh, I don't know where that momentum has gone. We just can't seem to garner enough to move us through. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 at early in the day with that big surge in the Dow, we were up here in that bearish reversal zone. And then we just kind of drifted back down throughout the day. Now remember, T2122 doesn't give us a direction on, on which way the market will go today. But what it does do is it shows us um, the risk in the market. Now, if we take a look here, we still have upside opportunity. If we can find the inspiration in those economic numbers, in those earnings numbers, we certainly have opened up that possibility of a surge to the upside. Let's also keep in mind the way the futures are shaping up this morning. We're showing a little bit of softness and weakness in that possibility that we have a big open door here to the downside. So just kind of keep that in mind, a little bit of back and forth. And right now, Dow Futures, we were just moments ago up 20 points. We're now down 108 points in those Dow Futures. And we're seeing that pressure really starting to weigh here on the market. So uh, just be a little bit careful here, guys, um, about how you approach um, this market. These whipsaws are really uh, punishing a lot of folks. Let's take a look quickly at our economic calendar. Now, our economic calendar um, has a few things that we'll want to pay attention to today, but not really the things that would you would really expect to move us a lot. Um, we've got the motor vehicle sales numbers. We've got international trade in goods. Now, we know our trade deficit is so far out of whack. It is, it is embarrassingly out of whack, but no one seems to care much about that anymore. Watch that closely. Um, maybe there will be a time when suddenly the market will care that that deficit continues to run um, in, in a horrible uh, place. And then um, we have factory orders then later on today at 10 a.m. to be keeping an eye on. Remember, tomorrow we're going to begin um, the jobs week. Um, we're going to start hitting ADP. We've got jobless claims there, a lot of focus on jobs, and then that employment situation on Friday. Um, it is not a you know, not an untypical situation to see the market once we kind of reach midweek here, just become very light and choppy as we wait for this big number on Friday. So maybe this choppy, yucky, go nowhere market could continue for a few more days. So just keep that in mind. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Oh my goodness, we have a big earnings calendar today. We have over 200 companies listed on the calendar. There's no way I can cover all the notables this morning. So make sure guys, if you're interested in the notable list, click that link below the title of the video, go back to the blog and you can catch a few of those. I'm just going to note a couple of them this morning. We have some, um, we have some news, um, in the energy sector, Devon Energy will be reporting today. We've got some utilities um, reporting today, like Dominion. We'll want to kind of keep an eye on that. We have some hotel um, information today, like HST and H reporting today. Uh, that could be interesting. Some retail, like UAA. Uh, is on the list reporting. Um, ATVI, Activision, um, reporting. Um, today we're going to hear from Zillow um, um, today as well. So a lot of stocks will be reporting um, and um, potentially moving the market around. So kind of keep a close eye on this market. Then let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you're notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be worthy, if you could please do me a favor, it only takes a moment to click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. And I know, I know, um, you know, we're all busy people, 
but that really helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks. And um, if you find it useful, maybe other folks will find it useful as well. And um, that just helps me out a lot. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, you know, I get a lot of comments and a lot of them happen to be just bots and ridiculous spam coming in. I try to keep up on that um, on the channel. But um, if you guys could help me out with some good quality comments, I I do appreciate it. And then I also want to mention those folks that are taking advantage of the buy me a coffee link and um, supporting the channel that way. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you're not a member of Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options, it's a great way to show um, uh, your support of this kind of content. And I want to say thank you so much to everyone who has done that. You guys are truly awesome. Let's take a look at some stocks setting up and remember that these stocks that I show you are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. They are um, something that you can evaluate and do your own due diligence on these charts. Let's take a look at something that really surged yesterday and starting to show some bullishness here overall. Take a look at silver. Silver had a big shot of bullishness yesterday. Now we've got bonds creeping up this morning. That could be just a tiny little negative effect to it today. But let's take a look at our moving averages and notice that we broke through our 50 day moving average. We held that 50 as support and now we're pushing on higher. It would not be out of the question now, guys, to start looking for some high levels here in silver to be tested. If we can hold um, to continue this upside trend here in silver, so watch that closely. Silver perking up, showing that little bit of pressure, that little bit of worry start, um, that has been creeping up here in the market on inflation. Another chart that I think um, everyone should be kind of taking a look at is gold, GLD. Now GLD has been in a long term ugly downtrend and we're up here testing that downtrend as resistance right now. Keep a close eye on that. This is also in a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout. That's when prices break back above its 50 day moving average and the 200 day is up here. What this is, is kind of an oversold condition that sets up and we rally through, hold that 50. We start to see that 50 day moving average turn up. Our shorter term moving averages crossing through, providing support, and we move up toward that 200 day moving average in the chart. Now, with inflation really starting to creep in, and we heard the words from Warren Buffett that they're seeing substantial inflation increases starting to happen um, in, in Berkshire Hathaway then um, we want to be keeping an eye on these gold and silver stocks, precious metals doing very well. Now, along with that, let's take a look at some copper, um, FCX. FCX has broken back through. We had a little struggle up here, a little bit of volatility, but we've broken back through this resistance level and that is now support we're holding in here. Any kind of rest or pullback here sets up an opportunity for copper to move higher. Keep a close eye on that. It's looking pretty good overall. And um, you could also take a look at SCCO um, if you're looking for um, some potential copper. Now this has started into a little bit of a downtrend. We're trying to find a little uptrend here in that. But I gotta tell you, I really favor that FCX chart. And um, if infrastructure is going to happen, um, if we're going to get that bill passed, and even without that infrastructure, if we're gonna to continue to build EV vehicles and build out the infrastructure to charge all these vehicles, we're gonna need a lot more copper. So keep a close eye on that um, FCX, pretty decent looking chart. You might want to keep an eye on some of the miners like GDXJ. This is a, um, a junior miners ETF. Notice that we're breaking down trends. We're trying to get some bullishness going here on some of these miners. Take a look at GOLD, Barrick Gold. Barrick Gold holding a price support, surging yesterday. 
this is starting to set up some bullish price action in that chart. So keep a close eye on some of those. They're looking pretty decently. Then let's take a look at a stock. Now, this is one of those stocks that I have a bias in because I'm holding this stock. I'm long KMI, already have a profit in this trade. And I think uh, KMI is setting up nicely here in the chart. If we're gonna see energy continue to surge, pipelines like KMI, gas pipelines, um, can do very well. And I see a resistance level in this chart right up in here and that possibility, since we've held in here, that we could just naturally gravitate up to this area. So keep a close eye on KMI. And overall, those energy stocks have been holding up bullishly, breaking this downtrend, whoops, my charting tools changed on me, breaking this downtrend and breaking back above that little area right there and holding it as support. So we're seeing that bullishness come in here in that beginning of a um, trend here in energy. So keep a close eye on that energy trying to come back around. I would keep a close eye on those stocks. Now, having said that, I'm going to mention that I picked up a longer term trade yesterday. So remember, I have a bias on this. Don't blindly follow my trades. I picked up a, this is a weekly chart on ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil is a fantastic Divi pair, um, really nice Divi pair. And I picked this up on a weekly chart with a long-term hold in mind. So keep um, an eye on that, breaking that downtrend, holding up, bulls pushing in. Um, we're seeing some of that energy come here into, um, into these stocks. And I'll tell you, in a choppy market condition, holding a few stocks with a little bit longer term look is kind of nice because you can avoid that, um, that daily whipping back and forth um, with that longer term picture. Slow that chart down a little bit and we've been experiencing some really great gains from a little bit longer term holds in this environment. So keep a close eye on that. You might also want to keep um, an eye on some of the bigger retail out here. Take a look at Target. Target had a nice surge up yesterday. This has been moving in this upside trend. Looks like we're getting a little whipping around here this morning on that price action. And keep in mind that it does have earnings coming up here soon, but watch that closely. Even saw um, Walmart, um, Walmart uh, pushing through some resistance levels. This has been in this downtrend, this protracted downtrend, but now we're holding on to a little uptrend, trying to break through these resistance levels. Watch that closely. Walmart trying to perk up and Costco, um, Costco um, showing bullishness here yesterday, pushing through, breaking downtrends. Um, looking good now. We do have to keep in mind that we are approaching some resistance levels in the chart, but Costco has been holding up really well, looking quite bullish overall. So some good charts out there for you to pay attention to, um, some chart ideas. So, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish you great success. And um, once again, I want to say thank you to everyone who's taken the time to subscribe or, and leave those comments, um, clicking those like buttons. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And please remember that um, you're more than welcome to share this uh, video out on your social platforms. And I also appreciate those who take the time to do that. It means the world to me. The channel is continuing to grow. Thank you so much. Everyone take care. I wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.